bam and there you have it fam now you have your historical futures contract price data from the yahoo finance api finance family it's your other brother adam Gibbags, bags and today we're going to be downloading historical futures price data from the yahoo finance api in python using the yahoo fin library so it's going to be three easy steps first we're going to install the yahoo fin library then we're going to go to yahoo finance and get our futures ticker and then we're going to go ahead and pull the data down so first thing you want to do pop open to your trusty google go ahead google search yahoo finance and you can just click into that first link that's going to take us there we'll need that for later then next we can google search python yahoo fin docs and then this first link is a blog to the guy who created the library a lot of useful resources there but we'll just click into the github here where he has some instructions on how to get started so first thing we're going to want to do is pip install yahoo fin so you can go ahead and head over to your anaconda startup window now you can launch spider if you have it installed you're ready to go if not you can click over to environments here and then you can come over to your base environment and then open a terminal and then you can just go in here and pip install yahoo fin so i've already got that installed so we're pretty much good to go there so we can go to our home page here and make sure we selected the root and then go ahead and launch our spider from the root now here's our script all my scripts from all my videos are on the github i'll put a link in the description so you can just go get the code from there or you can kind of just follow along so what we want to do here first is kind of import our library make sure everything's working it looks good next we're going to want to assign a ticker here so we have our e-mini smp but i'll show you how to get our futures ticker from yahoo finance so if you pop over to yahoo finance we can go to markets here and then go down to futures then this is going to bring up a whole list of all the available futures contracts you can sort it by volume we have our e-mini s&ps here so just we'll click in there and then we can see right here is the ticker that we want to use now later i'll show you how to go into futures here and you can also use this contract as your ticker if you want to use a specific expiration month it's going to bring you a different data set than if you just use this ticker here we'll see that later so we've got our ticker here next we're going to use our stock info from our yahoo fin library our get data function we're going to input our ticker and then a start date here which this is very far in the past and then we have our end date here which is in the future so it should just bring us as much data as possible let's go ahead and run all that together see what we get so we can see here it's a data frame open high low close adjusted close you got our volume and our ticker here and then our date is an index now all we're going to do in these next two lines here is just select our adjusted close column and then we're going to plot that data out so as you can see here we've got our futures data it was super easy to go ahead and get but next i'm going to show you how to get specific contract data and then also how different the data sets are so this data set goes back to 2000 whatever one and then ends you know recently so there's this must be like a continuous contract or something so please be careful if you're going to use this for back tests because you don't know the methodology of how they put together this continuous contract so uh pretty suspicious if you ask me now if you head back over to yahoo finance you can click into the first contract here this is our december settlement so we click in there and we can just copy this ticker out and then we could paste it into our code here and then we can just run this whole script and then we can see what kind of data we're getting back looks like this this data is going back to 2021 until recently so it's very much a different data set so if we examine the data we see we have all of our historical pricing here for our e-mini s p futures super easy to come in here and get the data bam and there you have it fam now you have your historical futures contract price data from the yahoo finance api i think it's cme data but they don't really tell you so it should be pretty clean remember what i said about the continuous contracts and back testing could be a bit suspicious speaking of suspicious a lot of red candles in the markets ponzi schemes blowing up fraud and deceit everywhere so be safe get your tech skills make sure you stay employed we're going to continue to get these bags thank you everybody who's been subscribing our finance family has been growing very strong leave me a w in the comments if you getting doves out here fam let's go get these bags